What do eligibility points, percentage of poverty, number in family, and ADA have in common? Each one is a calculation influenced by an area in setup. My name is Nathan Taylor, and I'm here with another Child Plus Checkup. Today's checkup will cover items that influence eligibility and attendance calculations. Let's look at the setup for eligibility criteria. We get there by going to Setup, followed by Module Setup, and selecting Eligibility Criteria. The first thing we notice is that I have a list of different sets. When I name them, I use dates to help me remember when my agency began using the new set. If our agency does not make changes to the criteria set, I won't create a new set in Child Plus. It's not necessary, and too many sets can increase the chances of error. Click on a set. In the first two sections of this screen, you can set up automatic calculations. If you use these areas, your system can automatically assign points based on income and age. This is a very useful feature, but make sure you aren't adding the same points to an eligibility record twice. That means if you decide to let the system assign points automatically, then do not create criteria and choices for the same thing. If I were to put points here for income and age, each of my applicants would receive those points twice. When setting up all other types of criteria and choices, determine if an applicant can receive points for multiple things. For an example, I have risk factors as a criteria. This includes many different choices. If applicants can receive points for everything that applies, then I should separate these into individual criteria and choices. I'll show you an example in a different set of points. Here, you see I have taken my other choice items and listed each one separately and given the choices of yes and no. Now we can enter all the points that apply and get accurate totals. Before we leave this area, Let's check to make sure that my criteria sets are connected to the correct term. If this is a new criteria set and the only one that my agency is using for our Head Start program, I will make sure that it is connected to the correct term and that the previous set is not connected to the same term. Connecting only one set to a term automatically opens that set when adding new families to the system which means no more data entry errors involving the wrong set of points. Let's close out of this area and move to System Preferences. We're still in our Setup menu, but now we're going to System Setup and then System Preferences. In this screen, we're going to check on Settings in the Enrollment and Attendance tabs. In the Enrollment tab, you can reduce calculation errors by setting defaults that will either include or exclude adults from your number and family count. The number and family count is used to calculate percentage of poverty. It can affect placement on Report 2025 Enrollment Priority Listing, which most of us use in our selection process, and it can impact eligibility points. Evaluate procedures at your agency and set your defaults so that they work in your favor. In the Attendance tab, you have several defaults that can be used to improve, improve accuracy with your data entry. Determine if you want to default attendance codes and what those codes should be. Set defaults for meals. There are even special defaults for those of you using the Attendance Scanning feature and mobile app. Defaults for these features can be used to automatically determine if a participant is marked tardy and if meals marked outside of meal times are included in the CACFP count. The next section is used to determine ADA calculations for three different reports. Ensure accurate reports by determining which codes are being used by your agency and how the system should use those codes when calculating ADA. Keep your attendance data safe with our locking feature. Use one of our many options to determine how often records are locked. Remember to review this information annually and make changes as needed. 
Be on the lookout for tomorrow's Child Plus Checkout video.